An alternative to reference counting is garbage collection. And in garbage collection, instead of asking the question how many references there are to an object, we ask, is this object possibly usable starting from the registers? So we say that an object that is referenced by a register is live. And then if you have a live object and it refers to some other object, that other object is also live. Uh, and then the liveness kind of uh, propagates in this way. Everything that you can reach for the registers then is classified as live. And because we can't just take up uh, take a random memory address and convert it to an object reference, we don't have that kind of unsafe operation in our language, then if you're not already referring to an object, uh, you can't use it. And so an object that's not reachable from the uh, registers, it, it can't be used at all and it could just be reclaimed. And if an object can't be used, then that means the garbage collector can just freeze the object. So instead of trying to, on each pointer adjustment, try to figure out whether an object is still used or not, we just periodically check um, for all the objects that can't be reached and release those. And typically the periodic, this periodic check fires uh, because we just keep allocating until we run out of memory, we run a garbage collection, um, and then hopefully we get more space to keep running. To make this a little more precise, we'll use some standard terminology for the algorithm. We're going to uh, start with all objects. When we want to perform a garbage collection, we start with all objects colored white. And then what we do is start with registers, and we color the objects referenced by registers gray. So gray corresponds to live, but it also corresponds to live objects that we're not done looking at. So then after we've colored all the objects referenced by registers gray, we go into this loop where we pick any gray object that exists. We look at every object that that object references. Um, and if it's a white object, then we make that object gray, the referenced object gray. If it's, uh, if it's already gray, we leave it alone. If it's black, we leave it alone. Um, after we've handled all of the objects that our selected gray object refers to, we color that object black. And then when we run out of gray objects, that means that everything is either white or black. The white ones are the ones that we did not reach, so we can just deallocate those. Uh, all the, the black objects are live, all the white objects can be reclaimed. So here it is in pictures again with our, our same sort of setup before. Uh, we've just removed the reference from this register to that little island there. Let's see what the garbage collector does with this. First, we see that this, the register has a reference to this object. So that object gets colored gray. Now we go into our loop where we pick a gray object. Well, there's only one choice, so let's pick that one. We'll draw a little red arrow to remind ourselves of the one that we picked. And now we look at that object and see all of its outgoing orange arrows. There are two of them to this object and this object. Both of those are white, so we paint both of them gray. And now we're done looking at this object because we followed all the orange arrows, so we change the gray to black. And now we go to our loop again. We pick a random gray element. Let's take this one up here. So that's the one we've picked. It has no outgoing orange edges, so we're immediately done, and we can turn it black. Now we check again. Do we have any gray objects? Yes, we do. There's one right here. So let's pick that gray object. Let's follow all of its outgoing orange arrows just to this block here. That block is white, so we make it gray. And now we're done with this block. And then we look again. We do have a gray object that we can pick. We follow it out. It's our outgoing orange arrow, but uh, that block is not white. It's already black. So we just leave it alone. Now we're done with this object. We paint it black. At this point, we look for gray objects, and we don't find any more gray objects. So that means we're done. Everything is either white or black. All the white objects we can just delete. And so uh, now we have made more space in our heap, and we have taken care of this cycle that was sitting uh, in this portion of our heap. The garbage collector would next need to clear all the colors, so it set it for the next collection, but then it can proceed uh, with regular interpretation and allocation.